we are most proud to have our First Lady Virginia here to be with us today. And um, it's a special day in Covington, Allegheny Highlands, and Clifton Forge, and Allegheny County, if I didn't say that, to have you here with us. So, Mrs. Northam, please come to the podium. start our day. Wasn't that lovely to get to be sun chewed last way and to get to stand up and dance a little bit today. So it's a great way to start our day and, and I know it helps to remind all of us why we're here and why we're doing what we're doing. So thank you all for inviting us today. We so appreciate you taking time out of your day and all the hard work that you all do and your dedication to early education in Virginia. You know the governor and I met um, over children when I was a pediatric occupational therapist and he was a pediatric neurology resident. And since then, we've dedicated our lives to ensuring that children have a safe and supportive environment in which to achieve their full potential. And we knew well before taking office that early childhood education and care would be one of our top priorities should we have the honor and privilege of, of serving as governor and first lady. And we've hit the ground running, literally. My team and I have traveled over 2,000 miles on our back to school tour visiting Child Care Head Start pre-K and elementary classrooms in every region of Virginia to talk about our wonderful superhero teachers and how they get children ready for the year, but also to emphasize that school readiness really begins in those critical years before kindergarten when we say around 90% of the brain is developed. Quality experiences and interaction with caring adults like those we saw up on the stage today lay the foundation for the development of the architecture of the brain, setting the stage for all future learning. Along the way, we were so excited to meet with many organizations, like many here today, who have been doing courageous and creative work in partnership with educators, state and local officials, and business leaders to provide quality care and education, sometimes in the most challenging circumstances. From Scott County to urban Norfolk, we saw community leaders working together to find innovative ways to improve early education and school readiness. I don't have to tell you that the data is clear that interventions focused in the first few years of life are the best possible investment a society can make, the best way to equity for low income and children of color. Courageous cities like those here in the Allegheny County area are leading innovative approaches to early education and we want to do everything we can to support you at the state level. We are fortunate to be joined today by visionary expert in early childhood education, Jenna Conway. She's a Charlottesville native, so she's coming back home to us uh, from Louisiana. She's a graduate of Yale and the University of Stanford's um, School of Business. She spent the past six years transforming Louisiana's early education system as their assistant superintendent of early childhood at the Louisiana Department of Education. Jenna has been appointed chief deputy at the Virginia Department of Education, and we are so fortunate to have her leading her early childhood initiative as what we like to call the chief school readiness officer. She also has daily personal experience with three children of her own under the age of five in Virginia's early childhood care and education system. So I look forward to what we will all accomplish together for our children and for a brighter future for our commonwealth. In the gentle but powerful words of Fred Rogers, anyone who does anything to help a child in his life is a hero to me. So I will turn it over now to Jenna who will give you an overview of how we plan to ensure that all Virginia children have access to the tools they need to succeed no matter who they are or where they live. And thank you again. <laughs> 